Uncle Jack, as well as his whole gang, are some of the most disturbed people in Breaking Bad as their heartless actions reveal time and time again. From enslaving Jesse to sporting various, um, interesting tattoos, it's clear that the gang feels no remorse for their actions and truly believes in their superiority. But during their time taking out targets and making deals with lunatic Lydia, how much does Uncle Jack and the gang make? Well, starting off, most of Uncle Jack's time was spent fulfilling hit requests, so we'll start off by estimating his income from this. The show never reveals how much Walter or Lydia pay for their hits, so we're going to have to turn to some external sources. Wikipedia suggests that a hit usually costs between $5,000 and $30,000, with the average costing $15,000. Walter likely paid much more than this per person, as he had a high volume request and very special instructions. Furthermore, Walter required the gang to use people on the inside who would also need to be paid. But the average hit probably cost about $15,000 in the Breaking Bad universe. There are several members in that group however, so we'll say the gang charges a bit more at 20 k per on average. As for how often they take out a target, we'll say they roughly take out one person per month. It's probably more like four in a single month and then a few months without any, but on average, we'll say they get 12 hits. With 12 hits per year at 20 grand each, the gang would pull in a total of $240,000 per year. Now, their final income was likely much higher than this, ranging into the several hundred thousand dollar range. However, at the start, before they established a reputation, they likely pulled in less than 100 grand per year. So, we'll say that a quarter million is the average they pull in per year throughout their careers. As for how long they've been in the business, Uncle Jack is estimated to be in his mid-50s according to their Breaking Bad fan page. So, the gang likely has about 20 to 30 years under their belts. Estimating 25 years, the gang would have pulled in a total of $6.25 million. As you can see, though they were quite well off, the money per member is only a little over a million dollars which is very low, especially for 2-3 to three decades in the underworld. But this would all change when Todd meets Walter. Though Todd quickly becomes Walter's lab partner after Mike and Jesse step out, he doesn't take any extra pay, stating that he can get paid after he gets it right. Considering that Walter has about 5 months of smooth cooking with Todd, we'll say that for the first 2 months, he simply makes his vomitous pest cut, which is 10k per cook. For the next 3 months however, will say that he gets a solid 20% of Walt's total profit. So, to estimate how much Todd makes, we have to take a look at how many cooks Walter is able to complete within these 5 months. From Mike's breakdown of their profit, here is what we understand. Walter reveals that they should be pulling in $1.379 million per cook after a dealer's cut. With a dealer cut of 20%, this indicates that they were producing roughly 43 pounds per cook. Out of this revenue, 278,000 goes to Mules, 135,000 goes to Ira, who is the owner of Vomino's Pests, and his guys also get 10k each per cook. Mike grabs 30k as their cut, meaning that there are only 3 of these guys. On top of this, Saul gets 54 grand and the legacy costs are 351,000. This should leave a total of $531,000 for Mike, Walter, and Jesse. However, Walter reveals that they are only left with $137,000 each, which leaves $120,000 unaccounted for. This probably went to the cost of materials or some other sort of miscellaneous costs. Once Jesse and Mike leave however, Walter no longer has to split the pot and is also able to keep the legacy cost for himself, meaning that Walter profits a total of $762,000 per cook or about $750,000. We know that Walter was able to profit $80 million by the end of the 5 months. However, that's after paying Jesse $5 million and paying Uncle Jack for the hits. So, Walter likely made upwards of $100 million in those 5 months, of which he kept $80 million. At this point, we also have to keep in mind that Walter has to pay Todd 20% of his profit during the last 3 months of this time period. Assuming a constant cook rate, for 40% of the time, Walter was making the full $750,000 per cook, and for the other 60% of the time, he was making $600,000 per cook, having paid 20% or $150,000 to Todd. This means that the weighted average profit for Walter per cook is $660,000. To 
To make upwards of $100 million in those 5 months, Walter would have to complete 151 cooks or write about one cook per day, which comes out to 300 pounds per week. With all of this information, we can finally estimate how much Todd made from Walter's cooks. For the first 60 cooks, Todd would have made 10k each, coming out to $600,000. For the next 90 cooks, Todd would have made $150,000 per cook, which comes out to a whopping $13.5 million, meaning that Todd made a total of $14 million from Walter. And that makes sense. Todd made about 15% of what the mastermind himself made by being his right hand man. Adding this to the gang's hit profit, this pulls up their total income to 20.25 million. At this point, they accidentally stumble upon a jackpot as they come across Walt's secret stash. Walter stores 80 million within 7 barrels, and the gang steals 6 of these barrels, giving them an additional 68.5 million, pushing them up to 88.75 million dollars. And that finally brings me on to the gang's dealings with Lydia by using Jesse. At this point, I don't think the gang really needs or wants the money, as they seem to be quite content with their little establishment on the outskirts of Albuquerque. Really, the main reason I think they form a partnership with Lydia is to help Todd with his relationship goals. But they do profit quite a bit from this partnership, so we'll take a look at this as well. Lydia only needs 25 pounds per week for the Czech Republic, of which she takes a 30% cut. And considering that labor from Jesse is free, Uncle Jack's gang profits a nice 70%. At the same $2,500 per ounce, this partnership brings in 700 grand per week. But that's not it. At the start of this relationship, Uncle Jack's gang takes out the gang that Walter was selling to, which gives them a minimum of 300 pounds per week in market share, as that's how much Walter was roughly producing for them to distribute. However, we don't really know to what extent Uncle Jack took advantage of this new market share. The thing is, they didn't really care about torturing Jesse for the money, but rather because he's a rat. So I'm not sure how much they would have cared about taking over this territory. But they did have a full on industrial lab, which would easily be able to produce 200 pounds per week just like Gus's lab. And if they worked Jesse overtime, they could have likely produced upwards of 300 pounds per week. I just don't know if they really cared to do that though. But if they did, they could have easily taken over 75% of that market, supporting another 225 pounds in production per week. Assuming that they pay 20% to the mules and 20% to the dealers, they would profit 60%. They probably didn't have to pay Lydia, as she doesn't really have anything to do with this, other than the original methylamine that she helped steal, which I don't think she was ever paid for. But we'll say that they'd throw 10% to Lydia for Todd. Meaning that Uncle Jack's gang profits 50% from this 225 pounds per week, which comes out to 4.5 million per week. Adding this to the 700 grand they get per week from the Czech Republic, they pull in roughly 5.2 million per week. Given that this arrangement lasts for 6 months, that gives us 26 weeks of profit. But we'll call it 24 to account for any issues. At that rate, they would make 124.8 million dollars making the total a cool 213.55 million. So at the end of the day, Uncle Jack's gang was worth 200 million dollars plus or minus 20 million. But this never really was the mystery. The real mystery is where they were able to stuff 200 million dollars. Where do you guys think they kept all this money? Comment that down below. Also, if you guys like the depth of this analysis, drop a like and consider subscribing to see more questions logically answered. But until then, I'm Hari, and I'll see you guys on the next one.